Welcome back to Liberal Crime Squad. My name is Matt, and this is part three of The Rise of Donovan Tell. Where we left off last video, well, we had spent some time developing our tailoring business or our clothes making business. I don't remember how I was referring to it, but it means the same thing anyway. Um, and we were particularly working on Colton Davison. So off screen, I, I played a little bit more. I left Colton in, I left him alone in the temp squad. If you remember, we had a temp squad. Um, I had, I've dismantled it by this point, so I can't show it to you on the screen. However, I just uh, had him keep working on his juice, uh, you know, spray painting and stuff like that. Harry Dante joined the clothes making operation. I could actually probably show you that one. We'll just, we'll just pull up the clothes makers. Um, you could see him right here in green. Harry Dante joined the clothes making operation. Then, once Colton's juice got up to level 50, we revealed a max tailoring skill of a 6. Now, this is not as high as I was hoping for. I generally look for, I don't know, around an 8 or a 9. Obviously, anything higher is amazing. But to really get the most bang for your buck, you want the higher tailoring skills because that allows you to um, create more expensive pieces of clothing. You know, some of the suits and dresses and stuff, which sell for more. Um, it, it's fine though. So once Colton's juice was up that high, we, I went ahead and added him to the clothes making operations. So you could see we now have Fabio Arnez, Harry Dante, Carolyn Shepardson, and Colton Davison or Davison, whatever, are all, um, part of our clothes makers squad. They're not going to be moving very much. We're going to leave them kind of in one area uh, everybody right now is at the crack house that's one thing i want to try to do in this uh, video in this episode i want to maybe move our leader get him out of there once we have a little bit of money um i'm not going to start building any safe houses yet we don't have that heat coming down on us i don't think it's that important yet so maybe just move him into some of the, the high-end apartments that way at least we have we'll have a map of the apartment so we'll see where there's loot and uh, we can kind of separate him from any other illegal activity that we start doing. And we'll just kind of run everything out of the crack house for now until we save up some, you know, save up some money to uh, start building a safe house. Because once you build a safe house, you have to, um, you, you can add a cover business to it. You could add like a printing press, start printing your own newspaper, and you can... Uh, you, you could do a lot. You could add uh, security and extra food and everything that way in case the the feds start coming down on you. You can you can just hunker down. You don't have to leave and you guys can you could support yourself in the safe house for quite a while until they come and ambush you. But so that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Let's see. Let's look at everybody real quick. We have the clothes making who is left in the actual liberal crime squad. Just OK. Just Robin Redford and Arthur Dench. So these are kind of our, uh, these are kind of our lieutenants. And, um, I think they're, this, this is what we're going to do. I think I'm going to use them. I, I want to try to get their juice up a little bit higher. Each of them can only recruit one other member. And I would love for them to have maybe two. I think they'll get that when their when their juice hits a hundred. So maybe we'll start getting these two up that, you know, they're going to be, they'll be our muscle. I guess. I don't know. That's my idea. And at the same time, maybe have our leader, Donovan Tell. Um, I mean, I should get his juice up, theoretically. that he, he should be much higher. He's our leader. But I'm thinking he still has three recruit spots. Before that, let's see if maybe we can have him recruiting. Maybe even get some sleepers. Um... So let's do that. Let's set him up to do that, and then we're going to go ahead and maybe do some breaking and entering with the other guys, and I, you know, I don't, I don't, really don't want to start hurting people. I mean, that's a great way to get your juice up. I could arm, where are they? I could arm both Robin and Arthur, and just have them run out, like, just a shooting rampage, and they would get plenty of juice for that. However, that would just bring the heat on our whole operation that much quicker, and I really don't want that much heat this early, so... Like I said, they're just probably going to do some breaking and entering. They'll be that that way. They'll get some money. Um, we'll be able to sell whatever they whatever they're able to steal, and they'll be building up their juice and some skills such you know disguise by being able to sneak past uh, suspicious conservatives, and um, yeah, security skill and just you know basic stuff like that. Um, 
But let's go ahead and we're going to set Donovan up. We're going to have him recruiting. Now, I don't know if this is a new option in National Crime Squad. Maybe it's something I, I, I just didn't realize was there. But I know there's actually recruitment now when we go into activations. Um, yeah, all right, so activate, and let's go to Donovan. All right, recruit. And I can actually have him try to recruit specific people. And right now it looks like everybody's average. So that's not too bad. Um, really would just tar start talking to people until his uh, persuasion gets up higher and then he'll you know it'd be really easy to recruit people and maybe we could even get like a sleeper uh judge or something over in the courthouse to help us out if we get in a pinch but let's go ahead and let's talk to uh let's talk to a lawyer let's see if we can get maybe like a sleeper lawyer or something going on um and even if they don't listen at least he'll have uh he'll be building up that persuasion skill all right so while he's doing that, let's go ahead and grab the Liberal Crime Squad and let's send them downtown to the Boyd Apartments. Now, let me just make sure real quick they're both closed and they don't have weapons, so they should blend right in. We're just going to do uh, kind of what we were doing earlier, just we won't be spray painting. I'm just going to be kind of kicking down doors, run in, grab stuff, run out. Um, and then, of course, once they're done with that, we'll be able to see whatever meetings Donovan sets up for the day. So I'm going to go ahead to go to the Boyd Apartments. And let's see what's going on here. Now, I could always look at the map. However, there's nothing on the map because we don't know this apartment building. That's why I'm saying maybe if I can move Donovan in here later or even this particular squad. That way we'll have a map. We'll be able to see where everything is. And the map actually shows you where loot is. You'll you'll see little, like, I think it's purple money signs comes up or something like that. And it's like, oh, you know, there now I know somebody left their laptop in this particular room. And then that way you don't have to waste your time going into rooms that don't have anything. So, shake the handle. Do we want to force it? They don't give me the option to pick the lock, I guess. Yeah, I'll force it. There was a, an encounter with a janitor. Oh, okay, he was able to kick that door in. Um, it's a small room. The conservatives are already suspicious. And they let out a cry. Okay, we're gonna need to try that again, and maybe not, um, maybe not kick down so many doors. <laughs> anyway, Donovan Tell asks around for a lawyer. He was able to get information on multiple people. So we have uh, Javier, Stephen, and Debbie, and none of them really look like anyone that we want to try to recruit. But I'm gonna go ahead and talk to one of them. Well, we'll 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 grab Stephen, Stephen McLaughlin, and uh, hopefully this will at least uh, add to our persuasion skill so donovan talks to steven what do we want to do oh not persuasion what's the other is it persuasion what's the other skill i'm thinking of i don't know we don't want to drop up a, a drop a pickup line no, no no strike up a conversation about politics here we go donovan tell says do you want to hear something disturbing and steven's not interested at all let's go ahead and try that with javier do you want to hear something disturbing? And no, he's not interested. Debbie. Let's just drop a pickup line on Debbie. Damn, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. You're not my type. I like sane people. All right. Fabio Arnez has made a first-rate toga. All right, so everybody's making togas. I mean, we're not going to sell them for that much, but we will be able to sell them for more than it's costing us to do anything. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to repeat that same process see if we could open up any of these doors oh and there's loot right inside we're gonna go ahead and grab that let's just kick down the next door look at that there's more loot this apartment just keeps going oh that must be the bedroom all locked up uh conservatives are already suspicious though we haven't been in here that long oh right in the middle of the room some silverware all right so we have a pda and a silverware so far make sure yeah that is adding juice it's gonna add it very slowly but this is, I think, a safer way than just, like, crap, locksmith. Oh, okay. He didn't mind us being in his apartment, strangely. Um, I should explore some of these rooms a little bit more. To the left, that's, I don't even know where that room ends. Oh, it's a little bit bigger. Go ahead and kick that door. Oh! There was an encounter, but they didn't seem to mind us in their apartment. Um, I'm going to quit while we're ahead. 
Uh, let's see. Th these guys are probably going to blow the whistle on us. Yep. Um, but they let us get away, so we'll be able to make it to the door. And Donovan is still on his search for lawyers. So we have Joanne and Steve. Uh, we'll go for Joanne first, and let's strike up a conversation. And she does not want to hear anything suspicious either, or disturbing. And we'll try Steve, and he's not interested. More togas. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to repeat that process again. Let's see. I forgot to tell them to go to the apartments, obviously. Um, so we'll just try this this part again. We have two more lawyers that Donovan can talk to, Charlie Wilson um, and Harmony Williams. Who do we want to try? I mean, really, it, it looks like we're not going to get anywhere with this. I might have to just have him go practice on, like, hippies or something like that. Can I send two squads out to do something at the same time? Let's see. Fearless leader. Let's send him to... No, not that. There we go. The university district. And let's send him to, like, the the vegan co-op. And then we'll have the... Oh, high security there. The apartment's there. I don't, I don't know if it's going to actually send... Oh, that's the rent. I don't want to pay the landlord rent. Oh, we found a cell phone. All right, let's run out of here. Uh, yeah, okay, so Donovan Tell is uh, going out on his own instead of recruiting uh, for this particular round because we told him to. So let's walk around the vegan co-op a little bit and see if we could run into anybody worth speaking to. And for some... Oh, there we go. Hippies. All right, yeah, no. Hippies are usually really easy to uh, convince. Do you want to hear something disturbing? He says, what? Millions of people are doing jobs most folks don't even want and saving their families from poverty, but we just try to kick them out. Uh, and he wasn't even interested. Wow. That seemed like a like a good one. Um, corporate executives use giant corporations as a means to become parasites that suck wealth out of this country and put it into their pockets. And the hippie actually is concerned. Dear me, is there anything we could do? So, all right, we finally have at least one meeting. Uh, might as well talk to the mathematician just because he's standing there. And we're using the exact same line. But he thought it was disturbing. So we have two meetings now at least. Let's, let's just try to make a couple more. I'm, I don't plan to add any of these people to the squad because I want to try to add like a lawyer, you know, like someone higher up, um, more worthwhile than just one of these hippies, unless I come across a hippie with some good skills. But I'm really just going to use it to work on our our own skills. That way we can convince some, some better people. Uh, despite our progress, this society is still strangled by its continuing legacy of racial discrimination and inequality. And the hippie did not care at all. In the name of the war on terror, we've sacrificed our soul by letting the government torture and abuse humans be uh, human beings on our behalf. And the hippie didn't care. What kind of hippies are these? They're bad ones. That's what kind of hippies they are. College students. All right, let's try this hippie. Uh, homosexuals are peoples like anyone else, and yet they are treated in this country as if they are deviants, fit only for cheap entertainment. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, really. All right, so we have a couple meetings. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we'll talk about this last one. Millions of people are doing jobs most folks don't want. Yeah, we read that one. All right, let's go ahead and leave. Ooh, let's let's try the college student. Um, what do we give him? Millions of people doing jobs they don't want to do. Dude, that's like totally bumming me. All right, so we have some meetings. All the clothes makers made their, to their uh, togas. All right, so who do we have up here? Meeting with Woody Metzger, the college student from, or he's in Seattle. Very high heart. Um, some law skills, some writing skills. Uh, you know, he could be good. So let's, we're going to go ahead and chat. I don't want to spend any money on any of these people, so we're just going to chat with everybody. Um, Donovan Tell explains his view on judges, and Woody Metzger is skeptical 
about some of Donovan Tell's arguments, but they'll still meet again tomorrow. All right, we have Catherine Hamilton's a hippie, very high heart, disguise and tailoring her. Uh, she's got some skills there. So let's go ahead and chat with her. And Donovan explains his views on the cops. Catherine Hamilton found Donovan Tell's views to be insightful. They'll definitely meet again tomorrow. That's the kind of thing that we want to hear that's, I don't want to say it's guaranteed, but that, that means that we're actually making progress and we don't have to worry worry so much about the next meeting getting cut off. That means they're, they're interested and uh, there's a good chance of being able to recruit them. So now we have Jamie Brewster, the mathematician. Okay, uh, this is really not somebody that we want to recruit with six heart and nine wisdom. But, ah, no, the skills really aren't worth it anyway. I'm not even going to bother with this one. Let's go ahead and just break this meeting off altogether. We have another hippie. Awesome. Oh, some security skill. That's great. Who is this? Julia Judge. Very high heart. Let's go ahead and talk. Continue talking with her. I'm going to assume it's a her. This game, uh, sometimes the gender labels are... Uh, out of the ordinary, but I'm going to go ahead and chat with her. And Donovan Tell explains his views on privacy, and she found them to be insightful. So we're going to meet again tomorrow. So that was great. We had a couple successful meetings. I went ahead and uh, just ignored that mathematician. And I'm really just going to repeat that process a couple times. I don't think you guys want to watch it. That might get kind of boring. Um, I'm I'm trying to think. I'm going to repeat, repeat the whole process. I'm going to just have... Um, who's in the other squad? I'm sorry. Uh, Robin and Arthur. Yeah, Robin and Arthur. I'm going to have them just breaking, doing snatch and grabs while Donovan keeps ta uh, keeps having these meetings to build up some of his recruitment skills. So that's all going to happen off screen, if you guys don't mind. I want to thank you for watching. Please Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, something you want to see me try to do or something I should have been doing all along. I don't know. Whatever it is, go ahead and leave me a comment. I love to read the comments. I try to respond to every one of them. I usually do unless they just don't make sense to me or um, if they're clearly for somebody else, I'll, I, you know, I kind of, I'll stay out of it. But please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you liked the video. Leave it a like if you did. I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen. You'll see the other stuff to click on these other videos uh, that you may not have seen. Um, and yeah, until next time.